Hello, friends. Humanity strives to attain quantum computer and artificial intelligence technology, but dealing with some small creatures, as it was a thousand years ago, turns out to be a desperate struggle for survival and a place in our own ecological niche. It was fall 2013. The inhabitants of three whole villages of Shangxi province were attacked multiple times by giant Asian hornets, Vespa mandarinia. The reason of the population growth of these killer insects was the unusually hot and dry weather. The hornet's poison is highly toxic. Anaphylactic shock and kidney failure are a very likely outcome. The government invoked the state of emergency and used specialized flamethrower troops. According to town councils, from June to October, 42 people died and over 600 were hospitalized. From time to time, the inhabitants of the eastern part of North America suffer heavy nerve shock, but they do have some time to prepare beforehand. Why? Because every 17 years, a new brood of magical cicadas emerge to the surface in several states. To make things convenient to count, these cyclic broods were called, well, broods, with a Roman numeral next to them. After breeding for a few weeks on the treetops of the highest trees, the cicadas die to the last specimen, and their offspring goes underground. The next emergence is expected at 2030 no year sooner or later. In 2013, the Brood 2 broke all records, reaching up to a trillion specimens. The red-eyed cicadas are harmless and pose no danger to humans or animals. But the mating calls of the millions of males reaching out to their potential mates, being sang with a force of 94 decibels, is a very heavy test for the psyche. In the summer of 2015 and 2017, farmers of the Russian city, Stavropol, survived a local apocalypse in the form of a locust invasion. Old-timers say that the recent catastrophe was more severe than any other incursion in the last few decades. Because the winter that year was relatively warm, the ground didn't freeze deep enough, and that created ideal conditions for the pests to breed. By June 7th, Masses of giant sparrow-sized locust spread to 16 districts of Stavropol region. The dense swarm caused heavy problems for drivers and many crashes occurred. After devastating the agricultural areas, the locust got to the neighboring Dagestan, where these pests took for themselves more than 100,000 hectares. The annual Burning Man Festival in Black Rock Desert, Nevada, at the tail end of August 2017, brought together 70,000 followers of the extreme show. But a bunch of interlopers decided to check out the level of modern pyrotechnics. Bugs and giant mosquitoes of different kinds created a local department of hell for the partygoers. The most pesky and irritating of them proved to be green stink bugs. They filled the tents and cars, got under clothes, and crawled in hairs, bit everyone they could 24-7 while constantly emitting an unbearable stench. Entomologists can't clearly state the reason for this mass of insects to appear in the hot desert. In 2015, citizens of Memphis witnessed a nightmare come true. Both streets and houses became flooded by millions of giant spiders. The crawling critters paid no heed to human presence, as if they were citizens here. According to Daily Mail, the city was enwrapped by a kilometer of webbing. Experts stated that the spiders posed no threat to human life, but that didn't do much to calm people down, especially women. According to the city zoo director, Steve Reichling, the spiders migrate to Memphis from the suburbs by the millions. Why they behave this way is still a mystery. As opposed to giant Asian hornets that resemble tiny combat helicopters, termites, being direct cousins of roaches, pose no danger to the human life. 
However, the annual damage caused by these ever-hungry insects reaches up to $20 billion. The general poverty of most Egyptian villages forces people to skip out on stone, concrete, and metal for building purposes. As a result of that, most buildings are being made of wood, the delicacy for the insects. It was October 2018. Local government declares the state of emergency. Nearly all wooden houses in the upper part of Egypt collapsed within a week. A part of the collapsed roof killed a cow, and the rest crushed a sheep and two donkeys, says one of the victims. Insecticides are expensive. We cannot allow ourselves to buy them. By this time, my clothes and belongings are all eaten, and my home is gone, explains another. Africanized bees, or killer bees, are the result of Dr. Warwick Kerr's experiments, who was a Brazilian entomologist. By crossbreeding the African bee with its European cousins, he created a super bee with unique qualities. The amount of produced honey was doubled, and their extremely aggressive behavior and high stamina proved to be a boon to the hive's safety. A year later, the entire brood escaped the lab because of a misunderstanding. The Pandora's box had been opened. The killer bees quickly dispersed in nearby forests of Brazil and soon were spotted near towns and villages. In 1967, the wandering bees attacked a settlement in Rio de Janeiro's bay. Rescuers tried to fend them off with flamethrowers, but it proved ineffective. The swarm was too dense, aggressive, and mobile. The stings caused the death of 150 people and a few hundred animals. According to the most modest statistics, in this short period, the killer bees took the lives of 200 people and severely injured a couple thousand. At this time, they drove their other kin away from the South America and a big part of Central America and constantly moved to the north at 270 kilometers per year. Today, the farmers of the southwestern part of the USA are concerned not with locust, but with the Mormon cricket. Giant hordes of two-inch insects that cover the area of a couple dozen square kilometers at once roam through the states, devouring anything they can get to. A global migration occurs each 50 years, but the cycle became distorted thanks to the warm winters. In 2003 and 2006, Nevada, Utah, and Idaho suffered the attack of these pests. Thousands got crushed under wheels, which caused massive slippery road sections to appear, and that led to many car crashes. The mass of insect remains had to be removed with snow plowers. The inhabitants found a curious way to divert the horde from its path by tuning their radios to heavy rock stations. In 2006, this method proved to be effective, but the next year a part of the insect horde found a liking to it and laid eggs right in the city yards. People jokingly complain that now they'll have to change their repertoire. We regularly come face to face with incursions of uninvited guests. Of course, you understand that mainly I'm talking about cockroaches. Those who haven't seen at least one in their life are in very short supply. Those who fought with them remember the constant tiring war with them. The main problem is that cockroaches are very highly adaptable to ecological and climate changes. They have spread to many countries and regions. They even have the ability to develop immunity to current insecticides. Methods used some time ago might be completely ineffective today. What to do? Is there anything that can save us from a cockroach infestation? Raid knows everything about insects and annually develops new methods to combat them. If you hear Raid, you associate it with the quality of the product, only the best formulas and safety of the active agents. With it, you are guaranteed to get rid of the crawling menace in your house. Raid kills bugs dead. On this positive tune, we're finishing today's topic. 
Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the most interesting current events. Don't forget to share it with your friends. See you.